Okay, we're now leaving the bedroom uh, with the plaque certified for master above it. To the left of that is a picture of Magdalena as a little girl. You have a nice camera, you know. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> good. And here's a landscape, kind of a beer shot inspired. They um, hung this over the, the uh, mantle of the house they had on Bay Street in San Francisco in the Marina District. There's a signature there. We'll spin around here and take a look at more of her clothes. I'd like to point out that uh, many of these here uh, were made by my mother for her, including this uh, this robe embellished with lace. Just top of the line. There's coats and down comforters and a few nice leather um, okay we'll close that in a second okay so that is the hallway we're going to go into the hallway well first we'll go into his bathroom so that's the painting again. This is his bathroom. And we'll now make our way into the hallway. Huge light crystal of vase there. Crystal chandeliers. This grandfather clock. Let me look at that. <clears throat> that was given to Magdalena on their 22nd anniversary. Persian wool. Another Persian wool uh, coat uh, trimmed with mink. And uh, for God's sake, an ocelot coat uh, also trimmed with mink. Ugh. Here's a picture um, of him by the son Pablo, one of his, one of the red uh, Bay and Delta uh, tugs on his way to um, a job. Magdalena uh, crocheted that sweater for him. Here's a watercolor uh, my father did, uh, one of the Bay and Delta tugs. Let's see if you can see the name of the tug. That is the Sonia V. Uh, this tug, uh, tug was named after uh, Sonia Plant. Uh, George and Sonia Plant were my Uncle Richard and Aunt Magdalena's best friends. Move over to the Remington copy. The silver statue that my uncle has repeatedly said uh, belongs to my dad. And a 
picture pen picture that my uh, dad did of the family tree. Let's see where it is. This is my Uncle Richard's branch. Kathy had a visit suggested strongly that Magdalena's name should be removed and that branch of the tree removed. Here's one of my favorite pictures of Magdalena and one of her foxes and her seven carat diamond that she had to give back for a broken engagement. Lovely glass. A reclining nude. Under here is called the Norther. It's a copy of a Remington statue. Sweet picture of my all of my aunts and uncles in their home outside of uh, Snowflake before they moved to the ranch. Uh, my, well, they're all gone except for my dad and Glenn and my uncle Richard. Happy to have had them in my life. Would you like me to take this out now? Okay. Matching blue vase. It's a nice silver vase. Under which is a. copy very well. You're out of ink almost. In that copier, I'm going to have to go down and get you another deal of ink. Send it out here. Here's a curio cabinet. Homo figurines. We'll take these uh, piece by piece. More homos. Cordial glasses. Lovely owl in the back. Not sure, and I'll have to study whether owls mean something particular to the Bavarian part of Germany. More beautiful stemware there. This is the third shelf. And that's it on the curio cabinet. Beautiful curio cabinet. Huge flat panel television. And an entertainment it. center. The copy is running out of ink. Oh, I don't think you can read that, can you? There's a signature on that now, painting. We'll run down and get a new ink cartridge. We can do that now, Dan. Huge matching Chinese figurines. <coughs> this is their mantle with the. 
ornate Rococo. <coughs> My copy is good. You can read this. Of the marriage of Napoleon right and right anyway, Josephine. That's as of March 7th. And uh, let's see, I had another question. Pictures of my brother. Pictures of Magdalena as a young girl. Uh, Seth Press. sent this to me. I copied it at home. Uh, he sent it to me in an email document.